our beach, Bacala. That's what our home is called, Bacala Beach. And uh, we're going to just spend the whole weekend by ourselves, taking care of ourselves, doing our own thing. Uh, and whatever goes wrong, it doesn't really matter because we're excited to be here together. So this is our first time seeing it. We'll take you along for a tour afterwards so you can see all the things that we did. And we'll show you before and after photos on Instagram and Facebook so you can see them side by side and see the remarkable job that I hope it looks like. <laughs> house. I'm so excited in the Bahamas. I've been dreaming of being here for like, I don't know, a year. and dreaming of having this house my whole life since my girl was a baby. Um, but now it's just JR and I today until she comes and then Dwayne comes. But I'm so happy because the house is even more beautiful than I thought. Um, we're going to take you on a tour. We're going to send you before and after pictures so you can judge for yourself and how much you can do when you shop online at shop.com. <laughs> It's true, we earn cash back for this whole property. It's a good thing because Bahamas charges you a lot of tax to get it on. But um, this is a beach and I love it. And we just have a little bungalow, but that's all we wanted. We just wanted a little spot where we could be a family again. No, about it, no people around, just us taking care of ourselves and having this beach. So the beach is the biggest part. The house is the smallest, exactly the way we want it. Back to the basics, right, hon? That's right. What do you think, Jay? It's gorgeous. Better than you thought? Yeah. What do you like the best so far? Privacy. <laughs> private beach. And private us. Right. Right? You made a, you made a palace out of a cottage. <laughs> so I guess even though we won't have our little girl here when she was a little girl, we'll have to have our grandkids here. Everything here. I'm here in my new Cat K home. This is the first time I'll be seeing it since I ordered everything online. And this place was literally very old-fashioned before with tiled floors, kind of a portable kitchen, and I ripped everything out over six months and had it really, really built in Miami in a room that was built the size of the house so it could transport it almost done. You and Amber did it all, right? We did it all. Amber was and amazing. So. So you can see when you first walk in, it's a very cozy bungalow. So we have a big kitchen living room together with our dining room. Amber did the figure eight dining room table because she thought that the shape would be really beautiful for the house. And she was like, Universal right. fixes. Other guys' tools don't fit every blade. The side connector is different. It's hyperlocked. Okay. Wait. Go ahead. This is our new kitchen. This kitchen before was a disaster. Literally, um, it was like on stilts, <laughs> and we had somebody build this for us in Miami and then install it here in the Bahamas. So, as you can see, it's perfect for us because we always like a big kitchen, and although it's not big, it's perfect for us, the four of us, and um, we love it. So, it kind of is a miniature of my house in Miami, this little kitchen, but I love it, and I love all the crystal knobs and the glass because it reflects off the water. And then this is our cozy living room, family room. This is all we have. We only have one. But I thought we needed it because the idea of this house was that we all have to be together all the time. Amber did all of this herself. The oversized chairs are built for two. So the space is perfect. So those chairs are built for two people, not one. But um, that's what we wanted to be cozy. Big, clear, invisible glass cocktail table. A lot of teak covered. Amber stained this silver. This teak table, this is all teak, and she stained it silver because it was very beachy. And we've mixed a lot of white with woods to give it a warm feeling. I think one of the most um, dramatic changes of the house is the floors. <laughs> they were carpeted and tiled before with very baby blue 70s carpet. But uh, now, as you can tell, it's very dark, very dark brown wood, which is exactly what we wanted. So when you walked in, all you saw was the beautiful white and this beautiful Venetian blue chandelier, which was 
Try. Wait. Go ahead. This is our new kitchen. This kitchen before was a disaster, literally. Um, it was like on stilts. <laughs> and we had somebody build this for us in Miami and then install it here in the Bahamas. So as you can see, it's perfect for us because we always like a big kitchen. And although it's not big, it's perfect for us, the four of us. And um, we love it. So it kind of is a miniature of my house in Miami, this little kitchen. But I love it. And I love all the crystal knobs and the glass because it reflects off the water. Perfect. And then this is our cozy living room, family room. This is all we have. We only have one. But I thought we needed because the idea of this house was that we all have to be together all the time. Amber did all of this herself. The oversized chairs are built for two. So the space is perfect. So those chairs are built for two people, not one. But um, that's what we wanted to be cozy. Big, clear, invisible glass cocktail table. A lot of teak covered. Amber stained this silver. This teak table. This is all teak. And she stained it silver because it was very beachy. And we've mixed a lot of white with woods to give it a warm feeling. I think one of the most um, dramatic changes of the house is the floors. <laughs> they were carpeted and tiled before. It was very baby blue 70s carpet. But uh, now, as you can tell, it's very dark, very dark brown wood, which is exactly what we wanted. So when you walked in, all you saw was the beautiful white and this beautiful Venetian blue chandelier, which was... So the blue Venetian chandelier was the centerpiece of the house. It was the first piece we bought for our home, Amber and I at ABC. And when we bought it, we knew that we would build everything around it. Um, it would be the blue, this color blue, of course, because to reflect the ocean, the first thing you see when you walk in the house is the ocean uh, and the beautiful blue water in the Bahamas. So that was the idea behind the house, and everything would be white and silver and beige and wood around it to give it a warm feeling. Kind of a mix between beachy with a little bit of Moroccan thrown in, so it's super comfortable, um, super white. <laughs> That'll be a problem for JR, <laughs> but it's okay. We're not looking to judge here. We're looking to have a good time. Um, and let me show you the bedroom and the bathroom because that is pretty dramatic. The bedroom was baby blue 70s carpet with a, this is the master bedroom. It's really small and cozy, but it is drastically different than it was before. It was baby blue carpet with um, very flowery wallpaper and flowery curtains, which I'll send you guys pictures of. And now it's all white with mirror doors, mirrors everywhere to reflect the beautiful water. And I think the most dramatic thing is the master bath. The master bath was really very antiquated <laughs> from the 70s. And Jar and I wanted a big open space with just a big mirror. We saw this picture in a magazine that we fell in love with, he and I, and we had it built. And it came out exactly, right, Jar? Gorgeous. Exactly like the picture that we had. So You don't even recognize it. And it's hard to recognize the house. And Jara loves steam, so I installed steam in all of our showers um, so he can enjoy it. So there's steam showers in every bathroom. So although they're not giant, they accommodate what he likes, which is steam in every bathroom, which is great. And a big rain shower, of course. But this is really special because it didn't take up as much space, but it really is beautiful. And look at the handles. I love the handles. So I still kept the charm of all the chrome, but it came out beautiful. Okay. I'll take you to Amber and Dwayne's room. Amber's room is still work in progress, but we ripped out her closet so she could have a bigger bathroom, which is looking fantastic. Um, she has to get a little armoire because she's bought herself a beautiful um, rack, hanging rack for her clothing when she visits. Again, she bought a beautiful white Venetian chandelier to hang over her bed, which was the centerpiece of the whole house. Um, and these beautiful tables, everything about it is beautiful. And it's kind of just disappears so you can really appreciate the beach. I love the double sink, she's gonna love this. And then if you notice, I did mirrors all the way up to the ceiling because the mirrors really give the whole room a whole different look. So if you look inside the bathroom, everything's mirrored behind the cabinets, which I love. Most people would never do that, but I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, it makes it too short. Isn't that a great idea? Mm -hmm. Put the light on. Gorgeous, huh? This 
is the office bedroom. It's very little. I have the shades pulled down. Uh, probably a place where my husband, like Daryl, will work, even though I don't want him to work while we're at the beach. But we did put a great desk in there for him and not a very comfortable chair so he can make sure he doesn't stay in here too long. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a great bed. Amber bought this as a beautiful Moroccan-style bed that would be beautiful, and this little place will be where Amber and Dwayne and Jared do their yoga. I did a great job on it, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I have to go get the key. This is the guest room. It's conveniently located outside. This is what I'm going to do today. I'll enjoy this. I want to leave. I really like it here. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Really nice guest room. It's a great yeah, guest room. It's a great yeah. guest room. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is all made of sea glass. This is a table that Amber and I bought online at Horchow, which is a partner store. You get cash back. And it's all made of sea glass. And the idea is the sea glass is something that Amber and Jerry used to collect when she was a little girl. So she fell in love with these pieces because she said it reminded her when she was growing up. <laughs> That's what we got. Like them, Jer? Gorgeous. So, walking out to the beach, which is really why we bought the property. This is only an hour away from Miami by boat. So it's kind of like a destination when you go boating. Place to come, chill out think, create, and plan. So as far as you can see down at that tip is our property. The palm trees, the beautiful beach, the bungalow that she made into a little palace. There's the airport over there. beach. It runs from there all the way to the house all the way to the house. So that's where our property ends and this park begins. And our beach runs all the way down and then there's that strip there that abuts the golf course and is locked landlocks us in from other construction or building. So this is all about seclusion, serenity, relaxation, and just being alone with your family, your loved ones, and reflecting. A little meditation chair. So this is what the beach looks like at low tide. This was Lauren's dream to have her own beach. The beautiful little bungalow which she's turned into a palace. A recreational park next door. So this was nothing but a thought goes to show that thoughts are real things and turn into realities. But if you don't think it, it'll never happen. So think big, you'll never be bigger than your thoughts, and dream big, 